I know the kitchen or the dinner table is a perfect place to be able to teach science, and today I have some things that you can try that will probably get you in trouble. But first of all, watch this. It's as simple as just pulling a liquid up a straw. I know we say you suck the liquid up. You don't actually do that. In fact, you reduce the air pressure here to allow the outside air pressure to push that liquid up and into the straw. But nobody understands that until you show them this demonstration. So watch. I'm going to hold this here like this, and now you take a second straw, and now you blow over the top here. And watch what happens when you just blow over the top. It's actually going to pull the liquid up. Watch. I know it's messy. It's how an atomizer works or a spray bottle. But that fast moving air creates low pressure and it shoots it out. <laughs> Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So that means you just need to get a bigger straw. And you're not going to do this with water. It'd be such a mess. But here is a real life problem. You're at the breakfast table and, you're, and somebody asks for the cereal and you can't reach because your arms aren't long enough. You can actually send the cereal to them. So watch what you do. You simply take this and put it down inside the cereal. Take a look at this. See how it goes down inside the cereal like this? Good. And then go to the garage and get yourself a leaf blower or whatever. And now here, watch this. You just hold it here and now watch. Here we go. Oh yeah. See? This is a perfect way to be able to do it. It's, it's just. I think it's a fantastic way to be able to do it, and, and honestly, it's not that big of a mess. But let's just say, for example, somebody likes cheese puffs. Oh, you can do it with the cheese puffs as well. Really, really fun for the kid. Oh, yeah. See, it's, it's got to get it so it's right. So it's perfect. What an easy way to be able to do it. So there you have it. You see how easy it is to be able to use fast moving air creates an area of low pressure and you can just send the food to the people you love. I'm Steve Spangler and that is your really common sense science minute.